Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBR Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. We also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on data science, Python, machine learning, MATLAB, embedded system, control system, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com. So in this video, we will learn how to train a neural network uh, in Python using sklearn. Okay, so let's first go through some of the basic of the uh, some of the basics of the uh, artificial neural network so the network which we are going to discuss is this mlp which is known as the multi-layer perceptron model so this multi-layer perceptron is a combination of neurons and which can be used for classification and function approximation problem okay so what happened in this is like uh, here is the inputs these are the inputs neurons and then there is a one layer of neurons which are connected to this input layer uh, all this neurons of this uh, second layers are connected to this input layer and this particular layer is known as the hidden layer and then there is a third layer which is generally known as the output layer this is the output layer and all these uh, hidden neurons uh, hidden layer neurons are connected to this output layer neurons as well okay so each uh, each uh, this connection contains uh, weights or there's some weight associated with it that means the value which is being generated by this particular neuron will be multiplied by this weight and then will go into the input of this one and then each neuron has some bias to each uh, connected to uh, this one to each neuron and these are the outputs so these are the outputs of the network so this is the entire structure of the multi-layer perceptron model now as we discussed uh, we can uh, this uh, uh, mlp can be used for uh, classification so classification means uh, we want to uh, let's say we want we have different sets of data yeah, right and these different sets of data lies in different uh, groups so effectively they make a, a, a kind of a group and we say as a, them as a classes so class 1 class 2 and then class 3 so this is the classification problem in which mlp can be uh, detect whether any new incoming data belongs to this class this class or this class the another is uh, the regression uh, application of this MLP is regression or we can say the function approximation so in function approximation means let's say we have an input uh, input here and then we have the output so we have some data around it right so this is the data so the uh, these are the some discrete values so we train a neural network to fit uh, the output curve as per this uh, data so that any new value is given to this one so it can predict a correct value which is lying as per this original test data okay so this is for the function approximation and in this video we will be covering this part of this mlp uh, MLP right now about uh, how we will be using it so we are using here Python and within the Python we are using this uh, uh, we are using Python 3.7 and as an ID we are using this spider so <clears throat> prior to moving forward you you may need to install uh, libraries like sklearn library so you can install sklearn library just uh, by directly uh, going through internet you can get the command for it so we are not going 
deep into that so it is very easy pip install scalar okay now we will write a simple program so that we can uh, we will generate a function a polynomial function and then we will train our neural network and we'll try to uh, approximate that function or to get the desired values of that function from the network itself okay so let's first save this file let's save this file on desktop so ann function approx so you can get the source code of these files from our website so first of all we need to import several things so let's say import numpy as np and then import matplotlib.pyplot as plt uh, this is used to plot uh, several graphs and then we will be using from sklearn dot neural network we are importing mlp regression okay so we are importing mlp regressor from this uh, sklearn library uh, now let's close all other graphs if anyone is open okay so now we will create a function actually uh, in uh, art ann case we need a uh, test data only then we can use to predict any other value right so we will be creating a test data using any uh, by generating any predefined function so first of all let's uh, generate any x points so the in these will be the input to the uh, network as well so np dot range 0 comma 5 comma 0 0.01 so we are generating in the range of 0 to 5 at a difference of 0 0.01 so it should be np dot range right uh, now uh, this will create a single array but uh, in sklearn we need to provide input as a kind of a matrix so so it should be uh, column uh, sing uh, multiple column single uh, multiple rows single column matrix so we need to reshape the data so we will write x equals to x dot reshape minus one comma one okay so let's run this part okay so x is created here so right now it is in a kind of a matrix form uh, 500 comma 1 so 500 rows single column now we will create a function so let's say we are getting a triple polynomial x cube so we are using x cube so, and then y equals to y dot reshape minus 1 comma 1 okay now this is a text test this will be our input data this will be our target data okay you can say it, it and this x is a uh, x will be like uh, test data and y will be like a target data okay so let's plot it plt dot plot so we'll be able to see how this data looks like okay so here is it so it is a simple third order polynomial function so we'll be approximating this one okay now there are several ways like we can either um, create uh, this test we can either uh, and this entire test data we can either use a part of this data for testing purpose and then for validate verification purpose uh, for training and testing purpose but uh, in our case uh, we will be using the entire data for the training purpose only okay and then we will use the same entire data for the prediction part okay now we will be uh, creating this mlp regressor so let's create a net equals to we are using uh, net as a for network acronym mlp regressor so it contains several variables like several parameters we need to pass in this uh, uh, function so first is hidden layers so hidden layer sizes right so that should be equals to 100 let's say you can take it anywhere so we discussed this hidden layer right 
So 100 means like how many neurons are available in this hidden layer and as we are providing only single numbers that means we are using only word header layer. Right, so in SQLR we don't need to provide the information about input layer and output layer that is by default incorporated into it. Okay, so we just need to provide the information about the hidden layer. So we are using single hidden layer with 100 of neurons into it and then we can provide activation function. So activation function is a function which neuron used to give the output. So let's say activation equals to uh, logistic. So you can get the information about these things from sklearn MLP regressor web page. Here it is. So there are several parameters into it. So we'll be using part of them. So first is this hidden layer, right? Then the activation. So we are using this logistic. It is this uh, logistic sigmoidal function, which is function equals to one by one plus exponential to the power minus x. So we are using this. You, you are free to use any one of them. And then for solver, there are several others. So we'll be using this LBFGS because it was giving a better output in our case. So <clears throat> we can also set these parameters like this net dot solver equals to LBFGS. And then we can set the maximum iteration. So max, max underscore iteration equals to so let's say we are using 10,000 iteration so you can also provide a data related to other parameters as per your requirement but uh, right now in our case this are uh, sufficient okay so now we will train the network okay so okay so let's run it up to here okay our network is being created now, in order to train the network, we just need to write net.fit. So input, that means the test data and the target data. So I'm seeing test or train data as the input data, which will be applied to the um, <coughs> to this uh, network. So x comma y. And then let's run this command here. So it will take some time. OK, so we are running this command here. So it will take some time. Okay. Okay, it is showing some error, I suppose. Okay, its training is done. It has been trained. Now predict the output. So let's see uh, whether we are getting. So y underscore predict equals to net dot predict x. Okay, because for all these values of x, we want to get some output. So let's run this command here. We got this predicted values, right? Now let's plot uh, both the function again. Plot predicted values. So we'll plt dot plot on the same graph. Uh, x comma right now we are using after uh, plotting these predicted values and then we can make a legend plt dot legend these were like original and then predicted okay so let's run this entire one okay here yeah. So here's the original one, this blue curve, and this is the predicted one, this uh, orange curve. So these are very near to each other. Uh, so you can zoom it up in order to see uh, what is the difference. So it looks somewhat different here. So let's see in zooming up. Okay. So these are very near to each other. The same value. Okay. 
the graph is uh, the predicted values are very much closely following the graph so we can also calculate the prediction error simply so that so calculate the prediction error so that will be a good estimate like how well our network has been trained so that will be a kind of uh, indication for that so mape we can write it like np dot sum so we are actually calculating the mean prediction error so absolute of y comma so this was the original values y comma this one this was the original target data and this has to be subtracted from the predicted one so y underscore predict and then we will divide it by np dot size the total of data okay. and then print map so it will be our prediction error or we can say like print so let's run it again okay so total prediction error is 0.00829 okay so that is a very good kind of a prediction and let's say we want if we want to predict for any particular value so we can write like uh, uh, net dot predict so let's say we want to predict for input data fourth column right so fourth comma one or zero because there is only single column in x okay x is rows versus column so x four comma zero yeah zero point zero four so what is the value corresponding to that that is in the output y so y is 6.4 and 10 to the power minus 5 so let's say what is the prediction value we can predict for individual test as well so all these are the test testing of our network so yeah. net dot predict we can pass a single value 0.04 okay I think it is getting the passing errors it has to be in okay uh, yeah uh, it has to be a kind of a number or a matrix kind thing like uh, here it is an array and this is a matrix so it has to be a matrix so I think this one will be fine if I write like this So we are getting minus 0.006 the original value is uh, 6.4 in term of minus 5 so there is a large error at the starting right but overall if we talk about it that will be reduced like let's say for 0.1 not dot predict for 0.01 0.1 let's say the output is minus 0.02 so 10th column so it is very much uh, related or very less error is there so this is how you can get the individual value output from this trained uh, nn and this is how uh, you can train a, a neural network or a, i should say a multi-layer perceptron model in python with the help of this sklearn library so i hope you understand it so if you have any doubt or any queries or any suggestion you then you can let us know by commenting below this video so that's it for this video and finally we also provide online training help in technical assignments we also do freelance project based on data science python machine learning matlab embedded system etc so if you have any such requirement then you can let us know by contacting us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org okay so that's it for this video Thank you.